Okay, this how-to video is gonna talk about tab routing inside the Cadence PCB tools. So what is tab routing? Tab routing is a, a routing strategy in which um, the command will add trapezoidal shapes called tabs effectively, um, and they get added to the parallel traces here in this example. Um, they can help control kind of impedance in, inside the pin field and then to kind of ho uh, control cross talk outside of the pin field. So it just gives you the option for not having to kind of, it means you can have some longer trace lengths and use a smaller trace spacing um, by adding tabs to some of these routes. So we'll go to the route, tabbed routing, generate tab. So there's a generate tab, a move tab, a delete tab, and then an anal analyze. So we'll go through the generate tab first. So in the generate tab option, we've got some different types. So obviously there's there's some different sections. If you look at the, the SW tab, the LW tab, the LT tab, and the PT, P tab, these are just the different dimensions of the sizes of the tabs that you want on the traces. Um, and then there's some different modes, basically. So the modes, there's an interdigital one, which effectively um, allows you to put um, out, outer tab lanes um, only have tabs on one side. So that's putting effectively a tab on one side of the trace in the outer areas. Um, there's an interdigital two, which will effectively allow you to put uh, tabs on both sides of the trace. So in this area, we could put both sides of the trace. In this area, probably just one side of the trace. There's a pin field uh, for the line. So pin field line one here, this option here. This would allow you to put effectively tabs on the lines on the inside of a pin field. This is classed as being inside of the pin field. And then there's a pin field arc, which would allow you to actually put tabs on the arc options here. Um, and we can kind of work through. So let's just go through, we'll start off, we'll add, um, based on the arcs, we'll just zoom into the arc area here. We need to make sure obviously we've got things like C line selected because that's what we're gonna do when we're adding the tab. So then we can go and set up the values. So I've got, these are in uh, thousands of an inch. So I've got six thou, 10 thou, uh, and five thou. Um, we don't specify the P tab or the distance between the tabs because it's done based on the arc. So we'll just zoom out a bit. And then from a selection point of view, I'm literally just gonna go and window select the area that I want. And you can see the tabs then get effectively generated, added on the arc, and we can then kind of move on. So you can see, yeah, there is a potential of a DRC error here. If we actually turn on um, the DRC, you will see a DRC error here, but we can resolve these issues later on if required, um, delete the tabs, or we can move the tabs into different positions. So let's go and change this then, and we'll just go and add um, a different section. So we'll go and add some for, uh, pin field line one, so we're gonna go and add them on these, these C line segments here. So we've got six, 10, five, and then 17 will be the pitch. We'll just window select these C lines again, and then you can see obviously the tabs get added and we can work our way along. We'll go to the next one. So it's quite straightforward, just a simple process. Let's just go and pick into digital two. Um, and I wanna set these at four, seven, three, and 15, and I'm just gonna window select uh, the C lines again. And it's adding these both sides because I've picked into digital two. Um, and then we're just using the same process again. We'll go along and leave in the same, the same method here where we'll set these up. So I wanna set these up as five, eight, four, and 20, and then I'll just window the C lines again. And that would then add those based on the rooms, the, the details that we've had. Once I'm finished with that, you can obviously see that we've just zoomed in. You can see we're adding like a trapezoidal shape, um, and this controls um, can help you with the cross talk outside and uh, coupling on the inside, so, or impedance on the inside. So let's have a look at the, some of the other options that we have. So um, if we look at the, anal, uh, the sorry, the root, and the menu, so tab routing, we'll look at a move tab. So I can just move, pick the tab, obviously we need to make sure from a fine plane we've got shapes enabled, and then it will just move along the, the axis of the track or the C line that it was added, so you can, can just go and reposition that. If we pick it based on an arc, let's just zoom in here, obviously it's gonna move around that arc C line segments, it will create DRCs if I can continue with that, so if I click there, you can see it's highlighting the pin, it will create, go and create a DRC error, so just watch out for that one. Um, and then obviously we can do things like delete, so same menu, so root, and then tab routing, delete tab. 
So the delete tab option allows me to effectively come along and basically just pick a tab and delete it. So left click to select, left click to remove, and that obviously we're just making sure that you've got shapes enabled in the fine pane. You can just use the delete command as well, um, but the advantage of using it in the, from the, 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 the tab routing menu will come clear when you start to look at things like the analysis, um, which is what you want the options for when you're trying to kind of sort out um, checking checking the designs and making sure that they're matching. So if we look under that, so we'll go to root and then tab routing and analyze. And what this is going to do is it allows us to analyze um, the nets that we have. So if we start off with a, a blank page, we want to then add the nets that we're interested in. So we can click on the add nets button make sure nets is enabled in the fine pane and then we can just window select the tracks and then it would then effectively bring all the nets in and these are the ones that have the tabs on so we can then start to build some rules so if we look at the rules we can add rules based on the the different type selection so obviously the pin fields or the interdigitals um, we can do it based on size or by type and then you can add a tolerance and then there's a reference level of, of lowest or highest or user input so in this scenario i'm going to do uh, pf1 add and PF2, so PF1, add PF2, based on the, the type that we have. I want a tolerance of two, based on the lowest, and if I click OK now, you can see, um, I get some that are effectively starting to cause issues. You can see the issue there. Um, these are passing, this is a failure, these are, have no rule applied to them yet. So we'll add another rule at the same time. So this one I'm gonna do into digital two. Um, I'm gonna do this one based on size. We'll do a tolerance of, one and again we'll do the lowest amount uh, and then that gives all of my so all of them are now effectively got a red or a green so I've got some that are passing some that are failing and we can obviously do a right click here and do a sort ascending or sort descending to find out where the ones we're interested in so um, once we've got these we can actually then select these and what will happen is the C line itself will be, be highlighted so you can see the net is being highlighted here um, and it's basically saying I've got a tab size I've got a tab count, I've got a delta. So what I can probably do is, is maybe delete one of these tabs and then that would allow me to kind of then, this would then start to meet the rules that we've got. So we've, we've currently got effectively um, the issue here. So for me to resolve this, I can either use the delete command, pick on shapes, click the shape that I want to delete to and then run a refresh or I can actually use the, the root menu. So under the, the tab routing, there's something called delete tab. And if we then click on the, the tab that we want to delete, click on that and then complete the command, you'll find that that effectively, that issue's now gone. So we've now dropped down to only, we've got four issues to go and resolve. And it's just a matter of working your way through this list and to, to get them from a count point of view, making sure that they're all gonna match.